Guy Jeans Rejoice, the family mart that supplies the highest amount of true highs per Guy Jean capita, has reopened. God dang it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and drop this off. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Piece of Z, everybody. Everyone's favorite weekly vlog where I talk about family marts that supply true highs to foreigners. <laughs> I really want to move in here someday. There's always people moving in there. There's like a bunch of uh, a bunch of moving trucks. One day maybe that'll be me moving in here. If I play my cards enough, right? You can't see me. Now you can. Welcome to Hayama Beach. It is hot. This is the, it is really hot today. This is the hottest day of the year. It's my first time in Hayama. You can see it's blue water. It looks really nice. Yeah, we're inside of a, uh, a Umino Ie. I got myself some taco rice. I am like, I'm literally dripping sweat right now. It's, it's so hot, but uh, we're here with uh, DJ Maya. Okay. That's how they know you. Yeah. We're here with Jojo. Makoto and Naoki, and the two Shonan boys. <laughs> We're just uh, hanging out here, the hottest day of the year, getting some, uh, getting our beach on. Okay, that, that was really lame. <laughs> is really nice but like there's a goddamn amount of jellyfish in the water and I got a bit of a phobia of jellyfish we even saw a sea bass like about a foot long sea bass we saw a few of them I mean those things don't hurt yet they just swim around but like the jellyfish man I, I don't like those things oh well good day at the beach got my chew highs got the water I'm working on my pecs <laughs> Oh god, this is where everybody unsubs for my YouTube channel. But yeah, I mean, Hayama's a nice beach. It's really swanky, but it's hard to get to because you gotta go to Zushi first, and then from Zushi, you take a bus. And then that bus, like today, for example, because it's a, a holiday, it can be pretty crowded, so you gotta be careful about that. But yeah, I'm just chilling in the water right now. You can hear it. Ooh, there we go, just stepped on something. And stepped on something else. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day. And a nice beach. Not many party people here, but like people are still drinking. But like nobody really cares. Like the lifeguard behind me, he don't care. They don't care about tattoos here either, so it's a good beach to come by if you wanna just chillax, you know? Uh, look at look at this sunset behind me. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I love this beach. This place is so much fun. Here's uh, here's my friend Jan. She's taking a selfie. What's up? No. What's up? Yeah, she's really cool. Oh, she, the video. <laughs> she wants, yeah, she wants to be a YouTuber, so I think she's really nice. So I think, I, you, you can do YouTube. She wants to do like uh, fitness YouTube stuff, so. Advisor for beauty. Beauty and, and fitness advisor, yeah. <laughs> I think she can do it, yeah. We, yeah. We had a great day down here in uh, Hayama. Well, look at that, that is beautiful. Hey, Naoki, did you have yeah. fun? <laughs> you have fun? Here's Miami. I don't know what Miami's digging in right now. Are you in my bag? Or you're not. Okay. It's her bag. Yeah. So we uh, we just took a bunch of pictures with the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> I love this beach. This is a great beach. So hey, thank you Miami for the great idea, by the way. Yeah. Woo. That's small. Small? Well, you're, you're really back. You're really far back there. Hold on. Oh you really are small. What? Oh, you just shy because you did you take off your makeup? No, it's cough. Yeah. She looks fine. Hey, leave a like if you think Miami looks fine. <laughs> hey, every video that you're in of mine, her Instagram's in the in the description, so. At Maya D E Wolf, right? That's what yeah. your Instagram is? Yeah. So she yeah. gotta go follow her on Instagram. Yeah, I am still filming. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so the sun just set. It's behind those clouds there. That looks really cool though. And we just we just took a bunch of pictures on uh, Naoki's phone here. Some of the oh wow, that's pretty. No, it's not. That's I like nice. that one. Oh, that's a good one. That's that a good one. Really one. good. I, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, there's a dog way out there. <laughs> Oh my god! That is awesome! <laughs> this guy here brought his dog out here. <laughs> it's just swimming. Oh my god. That is way too cute. Look at him go! <laughs> It is the hottest day of the year so far, and I'm going outside today. I do not feel like staying inside, so I'm visiting uh, Sheebs again. Get some shopping done, get some lunch done. Yesterday was great. If you guys never been to Hayama, you guys gotta go there. There's the next. Sheeps. Anybody want to marry him? This guy's out here every day, or at least every weekend. And I don't know what his, like, what he's trying to do, aside from just get married. So I do not want to film his face without his permission. And I'm not going to ask him. So, yeah, that, that is something you'll see here in Sheeps. <laughs> I'm trying to debate what I want to eat for lunch. I'm also gonna I gotta pick up some stuff from Don Quixote. I ran out of cleaning stuff again. <laughs> hey, at least I'm taking good care of my apartment. <laughs> what the hell is this? Miwa the best. Yeah, I don't know. Nice Mercedes. Oh, look, look at the Civic behind me. That thing's badass, I love it. You know what, after I get lunch, I'm gonna go uh, car hunting. Basically what that means is, you and I are gonna go look for uh, awesome cars here in Jeeps. And there's, there's plenty of them here. Here we go, a Cadillac Escalade. I don't see these that often in uh, Tokyo. That's amazing. Aside from that caddy, I haven't seen any uh, anything cool yet. Here's a new taxi. There he goes. Yeah, where are all the cool cars? I mean, it's Sunday. Shouldn't there be like a parade of like high performance sports cars just cruising through Sheebs? I mean, the coolest thing I see right now is this uh, Mercedes behind me, followed by a Beamer. I don't see anything cool over here. I'm gonna go down towards where uh, Tower Records is. Maybe there's something over there. There's a uh, radio station behind me with two uh, idols or some, I don't know who they are. They're just two girls. They're talking about sunscreen. And I'm over here and there is no cars in this vicinity. So I chose the hottest day of the year to look for uh, sports cars in Shibuya and I failed miserably at it. Oh well. Bus. <laughs> Just chillaxing by the river. It's another hot day today. Today's a national holiday, so my office is closed. When I move my office, I'm hoping I can uh, gain access to the building when the uh, when there's a national holiday. <laughs> I don't like working from home that much, but eh. I mean, today would have been a slow day either way. Tonight I'm going to uh, Maihama, which is near where Tokyo Disneyland is, and I'm going to a night pool there. I don't know if I can bring my camera in or not, so. If anything, I'll just use my uh, iPhone to film or take pictures or whatever. Until then, I'm just chillaxing. I could be wrong, but I think these people are protesting nuclear stuff. Hello! Is this a uh, anti-nuke protest? Anti-nuclear energy. All right. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody! <laughs> Normally I'm very much pro uh, green energy and nuclear energy, but uh, they just don't do it right here in Japan as you clearly saw in 311. I just feel like no one here has a, has a grasp on how to do it properly, so I cannot support it here in Japan. It's a sunny day, just put some solar panels up or something, I don't know. I mean, that's what I would do. the hotel behind me can't really see it there we go oh there's the hotel actually and there's the pool and here's my beer mm. this place is really nice and uh, Maya's here taking a picture of her uh, her wine you want to be on my video they're being shy night pool is fun though it's not even night yet <laughs> there's the, that's the bug right there there's Maya she's trying to get pictures that look good She's a natural. I think, I think she's a natural. There's Ami just chillaxing. Wow, I look bad because it's all grainy. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm really glad I came. Morning. About to sneeze. <laughs> Trying to get my vlog in my... Uh, I don't even have a cold. It's just... Uh, it's really hot and humid again today. I'm here in... Uh, as you can see behind me, Shinbashi. I'm going over to Ginza Hub for a meeting with uh, one of Ginza Hub's members. A uh, guy is really nice. He's really freaking talented, so I want to shout him out. He's got a really, uh, well, the only uh, thing I can shout him out on is his Instagram, so uh, let me uh, see if he wants to be on the vlog first. If he doesn't, I'll shout him out in the next scene. I forgot to uh, vlog while we were in there because we had a pretty long meeting, but it was good. But uh, yeah, his, his Instagram is called Wildblade, down in the description. Guy's a great artist, quite a visionary when it comes to uh, just anything, really. So uh, you guys should follow him on Instagram. Yo, this thing just dead ass landed on my bag. Look at that, it almost looks like it's made of solid gold. I put it down just to let it fly away. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna touch it. It just landed on my bag and now it's not moving. I think it's gonna lay eggs on my bag. Well the dude flew off. I, I didn't know what that was. That was not a cicada. That was just like a golden beetle or something. That was funny. But I definitely didn't want to drag that thing into my apartment. <laughs> hot today trying to figure out what I'm doing for lunch I'm not that hungry so uh, I might just call me it up I got something in the mail from the uh, post office that I got to uh, attend to this is related to my uh, one of my bank accounts getting a bank account in Japan is tough when I was a student I was on a student visa at first I had to give them like a lot of documentation some of which I didn't have at that time when I tried to open up the bank account I was staying in a hotel trying to move into my uh, apartment. I needed a bank account in Japan in order to move into an apartment. And then I needed a cell phone as well. I needed a phone number, like a contact phone number. To get a lot of that stuff, I needed my student visa to be verified, which it was verified. I had all the acceptance papers from Sophia University. I just didn't have my student ID. And to get to my, get my student ID, I had to go to orientation, which when I moved to Japan, orientation was like two weeks away, I guess, from when I moved to Japan. So it, it was a gigantic cluster of absolute bullcrap. So I have two accounts now with the post office. One of them is for my company. And then one of them is a personal account that I had opened that the school forced me to open in order to uh, handle my um, scholarship at Sophia University. So I am trying to close that account and transfer whatever money I have left in there into my normal accounts that I have, which is outside of the post office. So good old Japanese red tape bureaucracy for my uh, very hot Wednesday afternoon. Takes care of that. I got my bank account situation figured out. I don't think I have to step foot in this bank for a long time from here on out. The guys inside that bank are really, really cordial and very friendly too. And that's kind of unusual for a, a very traditional Japanese company for them to be very casual with me. So I like it. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Pieces Z.